Hi, my name is Jin. I teach yoga here on the island of Oahu. And this is my first video in a series I'm going to call Alignment with Jin. I think alignment is super important for your yoga practice. Doing our poses in proper alignment helps us to not get injured, helps us to feel good in our poses, um, helps our poses to be more therapeutic. Um, sometimes it can seem like a lot more work. In the beginning, you've got to use your muscles to align yourself. It's not sort of the easy way into the pose. But in the end, it'll be, as I said, more therapeutic for you. Um, help us not to get injured and help us to feel good in our poses. So I think it's super important. So this first video is inspired by Lori Owens, um, who had a question about her neck not feeling very good in Downward Dog. So thank you, Lori, for inspiring this. I'm going to show you a variation of child pose that will help you with your upper body alignment in Downward Dog. So I think you guys will enjoy, and it's a great way to work on it without um, the strain of Downward Dog. You're not having to hold yourself up. So we're going to take child's pose. We've got three blocks. If you don't have blocks, grab books, grab DVDs, whatever you need, so as long as they're equal height. So the first two go at the top of your mat, third one in the middle. These first two are going to be for my hands, spreading my fingers super wide, index fingers are facing forward, gripping my block super hard. Knees can go out wide, big toes touching, and then come on back so your head can rest right on that first block. So before you rest your head down completely, we're going to play with our alignment a bit. So when we get into our downward dog, a lot of us have our shoulders up by our ears, our shoulder blades off our back, and we've got this rounded action going in our upper spine and that really inhibits our neck really dumps a lot of weight into our neck and we want to counter all this so to do this here in your child's pose we're looking for at our hands bend both elbows and send them way out to the side and then turn the tips of your elbows down towards the ground now all of a sudden i've got lots more space for my neck and I can slowly start to re-straighten my elbows. I'm just like gripping through my blocks. And then once my elbows start to get back to straight, then I can slowly bring my head down towards my block. And you should be able to see now, I've got lots of space for my neck. Shoulders are moving down my back. My triceps are lifting up towards the ceiling. And take a few breaths here. And really feel this alignment. You can play with this in child's pose in your practice as long as you like. And then eventually these exact same actions are going to move up into your downward facing dog. So I hope this helps. Play with it. Enjoy it. Figure it out in your home practice. And maybe I'll post another alignment video soon. Aloha.